live. Let me pull up the chat. Uh, top chat, live messages are visible. Okay, so I quickly want to come over here and talk to y'all. Um, no new videos coming out today, unfortunately. Um, I did film a full breakdown video for the, the trade that happened yesterday, but I didn't like the way that it came out. So um, because of that, no video coming out today. But besides that, I'm going to come on here, talk to you on live, and then later today, you will see me on... I ain't even, I ain't even going to say yeah, y'all. I'm going to just say that y'all going to see me a little bit later today, a collaboration on somebody else's channel. That's all I'm going to say. But what's good, y'all? AJ Kai, I mean, AK Jai. I'll I, I be messing up so often when it comes to pronouncing y'all names. Orbeez, Exo Screens, Chick Peasy, Daniel D. What's good, y'all? Joe Polo, my favorite Pistons YouTuber. What's up, Mike? Ah, <sighs> So how y'all feel about that trade? I talked a little bit about it in that video yesterday, but how do y'all feel about that trade? Um, Bridges, we want him. I mean, after, what do we have, like $23 million available now? Because um, Burks and Noel are taking up a lot of the cap. I don't know if we'll be able to still get him now. Um, collab without me. Yeah, man. Um, I'm doing a, my first collab in like, it's been like a good four months since I did one. Are you doing a free agency tracker? No. Actually, Thursday... Um, unless some news happens like early in the day, I probably won't be able to make a video until Friday. So, unfortunately, no. Um, Kenneth Stimler, keep grinding, young blood. I appreciate that, man. What's up, Brill R? Um, bro, you're going, you're growing like crazy. Congrats, thank you for that, man. You know, when you constantly put out videos like you know two, three, four videos a day, and it's good quality content, you know, people are gonna watch and. A lot of new people are coming back to the franchise because of the moves that Troy is making. And, you know, it's just benefiting me as well. 19 million available. Gotcha, Mike. Gotcha. Love the channel. Keep it up, youngin. Appreciate that, ASAP King. <laughs> we scammed the Knicks. I don't, I mean, from the Knicks perspective, they didn't get scammed. They got exactly what they want. They're about to go out there, spend between 25 to $30 million on Jalen Brunson. They're about to get their franchise player, I guess. So from our perspective, I guess we scammed them. But from a Knicks fan and their team as a whole, they like what they're doing right now, which is a typical Knicks thing, you know. Um, I don't really know how I feel. I think Alec is going to Boston. Um, I don't necessarily see that because on a roster, we have Ivy, who will be the starting two. And then off the bench, we will have Diallo. And then Burks, he could play like the three, I guess. Um, we need veterans, not rookies, even no, even though Bridges not a vet yet. Gotta tell me who in DMs. <laughs> All right, Mike, I got gotcha. you. Um, cool to see you. What's up, Johnny? Both are good vets. Burks gives us shooting and Noel gives us interior defense. Completely agree with you, man. I definitely like the pickup of both of those guys. Um, who do you think we can sign? I mean... Honestly, we don't really need to sign anybody else. Um, a small little piece here and there will be fine, but you guys have to think what we already have on this team. You have Cade, you have Ivy, you have Bay, and then at the power forward in the center position, you could either go with Marvin Bagley if we choose to bring him back, which is highly likely. I mean, <laughs> I said likely, likely, and then um, either Isaiah Stewart or Duran, and it's probably going to be Duran. So. The starting lineup is pretty set, and then off the bench now with this move of Noel. Oh, I forgot. You can try to start Noel if you want to. So, um, yeah, you basically have the starting lineup set, and then off the bench you have a bunch of guys who can go out there and, you know, make plays. So, quite honestly, you know, I don't really expect us to do too much more in the offseason, but it is Troy Weaver. You know, he's constantly making moves, so we might do something, but um, right now I just don't really see what else we have to do because we basically shored up you know, every issue that we had on this team last year. We needed shooting. We needed scoring. You go out there, you get Alec Burks and Ivy. You need a defense and rim protection. You get Duren and you get Noel. So honestly, Troy has done a masterful job when it comes to, you know, addressing all of the needs that we had um, coming into this offseason. But let me check and see. We got 56 people um, watching right now. Um, please make sure you guys like the stream. We got 22 likes right now. Um... What's your starting five right now? Who coming off the bench? K, Ivy, Bay, 
And then at the four and the five, probably probably Bagley and Noel. And then have Stewart and Duran off the bench. Um, let me see. Uh, <laughs> all in for Brunson. I don't get it yet. The Knicks, I guess they want to leave. I mean, even if you get Brunson, you're still going to be a mediocre team. So quite honestly, I don't really understand it myself. Um, we're a playing team next season. K All Star, yeah, man. I, I think we definitely, you know, after making those moves yesterday, I think we got a shot. My understanding was we get back ten million from the nineteen million from the total package with the second round picks and Burks. Ooh, excuse me. Um, I think we also. I don't know if this is true or not, but I read something that said that we gave like six million dollars in cap consideration or something like that. Um, let me see. Who did we lose? We didn't lose anybody. We gave up literally nothing. And in return, we got Burks, Noel, and second round picks. I feel this is just putting our money in one year contracts so we can hit free agency next year. And there are a lot more guys next year. Yes, absolutely. That's what I think this is going to basically build up to be. I saw that it said that next season, if we um, play our cards right, we could have up to $35 million next year. So again, this year coming into the off season, we have the number one projected odds for cap space. And then next season, it's looking like we're gonna have the same as well. So um, Troy, definitely, again, I'm just gonna keep con continuing to give that guy praise because I will never forget the situation we were in with Stan Van Gundy. I never thought we could have had a team with someone like Cade and Ivy, and then all at the same time, still have the most money to spend in free agency for years to come. So. So definitely, man, loving it right now. Um, Noel and Burks definitely bring that veteran presence for the young team. Absolutely. You don't want to just have, you know, dudes who are 19, 20, 21 years old out there running without some veterans who've been there and done that in the league. Weaver ain't done. <clears throat> Weaver ain't done. So these moves are impossible to judge. I think most of these moves have been um, weak besides the Duran deal. Um, I mean, if you're talking about the grant trade, uh, I kind of view that a little differently now because that grant trade is like you got, you trade a grant and in return, you basically get Duren and then also moving grant opened up cap space to get someone like, um, Noel and Burks as well. So I add all three of those players to that deal. So you said that besides Duren, um, Trey has been making weak moves. I disagree. Um, so are we making the playoffs or no? Um, no, nah, I still don't see the playoffs, but we're definitely a lot closer than we were, um, before the off season started. Um, we up, what's up East, East side tone three, one, three. What did we trade away? We didn't trade away anything. Troy not done. Olenek is about to go. That is something else that I forgot about. Um, in the video that I didn't post about this trade, because again, I didn't like the way that that video came out. Um, in that video, I discussed Kelly Olenek, and I was like, what are we going to do with him right now? Because I have Duran over him. I have Noel over him. I have Stewart over him. You know, what are we going to do with Kelly Olenek? Is he just going to sit there on a the bench? You know, I, I don't really know what you do with him right now. Are you going to trade him? We shall see. Um, Let's see. Still can't get over that Grant trade, though. I like the Grant trade now with du that Grant trade to me is basically Grant for Duren, Noel, and Burks. That's what I'm counting it as. Kelly looking like he going to be gone. Maybe. We going to see, man. Free agency literally starts tomorrow. Pistons got a jail now. Yep. Got all the talent. You just got to, you know, find a way to make it all work. And hopefully these guys can develop some chemistry with each other. Um, Playing tournament at best. Yeah. I, w I would say that. I would agree. Um, Heel Rixo, Joe Polo. Thank you for that, man. Um, cost 19 million, but we get back 10 million exception. Um, y'all see, okay. Nah, we going to the playoffs? I don't know about that, man. I'm gonna keep my expectations low because you know, as hype as we are right now, we still haven't even seen Duran and Ivy play one second of NBA basketball yet. So I'm gonna keep my expectations fairly low when it comes to um, talking about if we're going to make the playoffs or not. Troy Masterclass. Absolutely, man. I'm grateful that we have him here. 
I don't want to make the plan this year. We need to be patient. What do you mean by that? I mean, what's what's the negative to making a play-in tournament? If anything, I think it'll be a benefit to us because they give a lot of these guys, you know, a confidence boost. The Knicks are um, going to have all their cap on Brunson, Randu, and RJ. No thanks. Yeah, the New York Knicks is really tough. Like, if you were a Knicks fan, like a hardcore Knicks fan, to see what they're doing right now, it's like you're literally stuck in the middle. Like, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to... Maybe make it to the eighth seed at best and get beat in the first round. So it, it's got to be tough to be a Knicks fan right now. Um, Let me see. I better see the Pistons show support for Ivy at the Summer League. What do you mean by support? Do you mean like other players showing up to the games? Sorry for that noise. <laughs> um, Knicks going 18 and 64. Imagine we got 97 million. Even if the Knicks sign Brunson, do you think we are better than the Knicks? Are the Pistons better than the Knicks? Um, let me think. They have Julius Randle. Let's say they get Brunson. They got RJ Barrett. Um, yeah, I think we would be better than the Knicks, honestly, because of the way that we played um, as soon as we got Marvin Bagley. You know, I can only imagine how much better this team will be next year now that we have Noel and Duren. What about Luca Garza? Um, the Pistons officially let go of Luca Garza, and you know the fan in me is kind of saddened by that, and you know it's kind of upsetting because he was a hard worker and he didn't get much opportunity. But the few opportunities that he did get in the game, he went out there and he tried his hardest. He scored a lot of efficient buckets. So you know it does suck to see Luca Garza leave, but you know it, this is the NBA. Um, in a rebuild like this, you're bound to lose some players eventually. You can't keep everyone. You know, you can't have a roster with Kelly Olenek, Duren, um, Stewart, Marvin Bagley, like all of these guys, and keep Luka Garza on a roster at the same time. You know, it's just really tough to balance all of this stuff. So you're bound to lose someone. And unfortunately, Duren, I mean, not Duren, unfortunately, Garza is one of those guys right now. And Saban Lee, he might be one of those guys in the future. Uh... We cut three, including Garza, too. Yeah, we cut Luca Garza, um, Frank Jackson, and Carson Edwards. That was the final guy. We received six million. Oh, so we received six million from the Knicks. I thought we were the ones to, to give that to them. Thank you for letting me know, XO Screens. Um, who in free agency next offseason? Everybody. <laughs> Literally everybody. Actually, let's pull up a list right now. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, flip the camera. Okay, 2023 NBA free agency. Look at that. LeBron James, <laughs> James Harden, Russell Westbrook. Like, come on now. It's everybody, bro. Chris Middleton, Kyrie Irving, Chris Stops, Andrew Wiggins. Like, bro, everybody's available next year. Grant even's available. He'll be back on the market. So, yeah. Next year's class is 1,000% much better than... Um, this year's free agency class. People are forgetting we got Dwayne Casey. He knows how to take a young team to the playoffs. I have a lot of confidence we can make the playoffs. Um, I mean, I have my fair share of criticism with Dwayne Casey, but I do believe that one day he will lead this team to the playoffs. Now, if we're talking about championship aspirations, I don't necessarily know, but playoffs is something I definitely believe that he can do as a head coach for us. Um... And give me one second. I'm trying to make sure that everything is still okay. All right, everything's still good here. Um, we received six million from the Knicks. Already read that one. Who do you think we're gonna get in free agency? At this point, I think it's probably just gonna be a another you know role player like Alec Burks or Noel or something like that. Um, LeBron James, Harden, Kyrie. Yep, all the guys in next year's free agency. Even, um. Miles Turner, I didn't know he was a free agent next year. Gonna be hilarious when Brunson stays with the Mavs and the Knicks are deep in the... Bro, if Brunson goes back to the Mavs and the Knicks basically did all of that for nothing, that will be hilarious, bro. Absolutely hilarious. We have a lot of big men. Bagley, Duran, Stewart, Noel, Olenek. I think we would trade one. Probably Olenek, but need some um, big men, um, some shooting big men. Um, so obviously we know that... Duran, he's not necessarily a shooter. 
Stewart, he tries to shoot, but he's not a good shooter. Noel, yeah, the only big man that we have who can space the floor is Kelly Olenek right now and um, kind of Marvin Bagley. Uh, what are these so-called Pistons? Oh, what do these so-called Pistons fans want? Detroit is not getting any big time free agents at this point. Build through the draft, free up cap space, and get some vets to complement the young guys. Thank you for that, Rashad Walker. And I agree with you because I believe the Pistons can either be in, you know, two positions. You can easily, you can easily be like a team like the Lakers, the Knicks, you know, the Brooklyn Nets. They traded all of their young core to get Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. The Lakers, they gave up everything to get LeBron and Anthony Davis. And they got one championship, but now, you know, they have this really old roster that isn't really going anywhere. You know, you could be like one of those teams. Or you can end up being a team like the Golden State Warriors, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Boston Celtics. You know, wait a little bit of time, have some years where, you know, you struggle in the playoffs and you lose a lot of games, but eventually make it over the hump and have long, sustained success. You could be one of those two teams. And right now it's looking like the Pistons are going in the direction where, you know, we're going to be one of those teams here for the long haul. We're building through the draft. We're making smart trades and smart free agency signings. So I'm definitely, you know, I, I love the way that the Pistons are currently doing this. And I'm so happy that we're not going in the route like the New York Knicks. They're in a terrible position right now. Stewart going to the four with Bagley. I mean, maybe we shall see. He doesn't necessarily have to play the center position anymore. Um, Dwayne Casey is a great coach. He just went into a bad decision. These next couple of years can prove that with Weaver's moves. I hope so much that Brunson stays in Dallas. I love to watch New York suffer. Okay. <laughs> um, why Olenek going? The 18-year-old needs um, some help, you know. Um... The reason why we say that is because, again, we have so many bigs and I was crazy how we were just complaining and not about like not having any big men at all. And now you have Stewart, Bagley um, and no Nerlens Noel. That's three right there. And then you have Duran and Kelly Olenek. So um, what did you say again? You said the 18. Yes, yeah, he, he's going to need some time. But I feel like we have enough big men now to provide him that gap, even if we do get rid of Kelly Olenek. You think the image of Detroit is to make a Bad Boys Part 3? I think that's what you mean. Um, I mean, the way that Troy Weaver start, um, the way that Troy Weaver talks, he always says the restoration. So I guess that's what he's going for. Are you going to stream tomorrow? Um, no, unfortunately, I won't be able to stream tomorrow. Um, what's up, Elton, Elton C., my guy, one of the biggest supporters here on the channel. Polo, it's been a crazy, it's been crazy, man. I'm loving it. Out the mud. I'm loving it too, bro. It's crazy. Our young talent a few years ago was Bruce Brown, Steve Makai, Luke, Sekou Numboya, and Luke Kennard. Pistons impressed me. Yeah, just, just looking at those names and comparing them to all the guys we got right now, is it's just crazy. What do you think Ivy going to play like in year one? I mean, according to himself, Ivy wants to... He said, first off, he wants to win the Summer League MVP then he wants to lead his team to the playoffs, win Rookie of the Year, then MVP, something like that. He has like a whole little list of um, things that he wants to accomplish. But in year one, um, I see him being one of the top scorers for the Pistons next season, you know, out, out the gate. Duran might not be ready. That is true. I've said that multiple times. He is only 18 years old right now, and it's the reason why I don't want him to be the starter. I would prefer, you know, Bagley or Stewart or Noel or Kelly Olenek over him. Pistons will be really good next season, at least 15 to 20 wins better. I don't know about 15 to 20 wins better, but um, I would say probably around like 10 wins. Like how many did we have this year? Like 22, something like that? Let me look it up. Pistons 2022 record. Okay, let me flip the screen for y'all. We had 23 wins, so... I think somewhere we should be at least by like 35 next year. 35 wins. We should be above the Magic, above the Pacers, um, above the Knicks, the Wizards. We should definitely be above those teams next year. And I think that those teams, like the Knicks, especially if they go all in on Brunson, they're going to kind of um, fall a little bit. Um, do I think we make the play-in tournament? I think that's the best case scenario. Do you think the Pistons should make a play at Mobamba 
or is our front court too loaded already? Um, yeah, I kind of think that right now it's a little too late for Mo Bamba. Um, I would prefer us to just, you know, if we're going to trade Kelly Olenek, go out there, get a, I don't know, a shooting guard, a small forward, something like that. We don't really need another um, big man on this team. But then again, Mo Bamba, he can kind of stretch the floor a little bit, and he is young, so maybe. I don't know. Sorry, Luca. Should have went to Michigan. Okay. How about Carson? Um, Carson, he got cut yesterday, and it's whatever. He only played in like four games for the Pistons, so it's not that big of a loss anyways. Um, don't need Olenek. So how you liking your Pistons now? What do you mean? I've always liked my Pistons. Um, K reminds me of Klay Thompson. Ivy reminds me of John Morant. Um, K, he reminds me of like, he reminds me of like a mix of Paul George and Devin Booker. And then Ivy, I guess you could say John Morant. Um, I can't really think of another comparison for him right now. Cause like he's explosive, high flying, has a good handle, can hit the three ball. Um, he's inconsistent, but he can hit the three ball. So I guess John Morant is a good enough comparison for him. Um, I wish they developed Isaiah Livers like Golden State Warriors developed Jordan Poole. My man is a threat. Yes, if if Livers can be our version of Jordan Poole, that would be amazing. And I think they got drafted around the same type of spot because um, Livers, he was late in the first round. And then, I mean, not Livers, uh, Jordan Poole, he was late in the first round. And then Livers, he was like middle of the second round. Uh, Cade, Ivy, Livers, Bay, Nerlens, what do you think? Um, have Isaiah Livers in the starting lineup? I don't I don't know about that. I think he'll be um, more of a threat coming off the bench, to be completely honest with you. Um, league is getting shaken up next. Oh, League is getting shaken up next year. Holy cap, yeah. Casey cursed the Raptors. I could see Olenek as Pistons starting four. Hmm. Let everything play out before we start to anoint people to positions. Livers going too, right? Nah. Livers, I'm pretty sure that Isaiah Livers is going to be on the scene for um, a few years now. We will be close to the play-in. Um, don't say that. Do you think the Pistons will still sign a big free agent? No. All, all of the, the signs right now point to, you know, just another veteran. Bryn Forbes will be a nice addition. Yeah, I would be cool with Bryn Forbes. Imani Bates to Eastern Michigan. Yeah, I saw that earlier. It's kind of shocking to see. Um, a lot of people gave up on him, but I still think that Imani Bates could be a, a really good player. Now, Brunson is going somewhere. Mav said they ain't paying him. We're going to see if he go to the Knicks, bro. How about Wiggins? Um, I really do like Andrew Wiggins, but not really for the Pistons. Um, or at least not right now. I think the Knicks will get the best of the big names if they don't get Brunson. Okay. Do you think we're a playoff team? No, I think we just miss out on it. Who is your starting five for the Pistons next season? I already said it. Um, trust in Troy Weaver. Always, always. Um, let me see. I don't mind a drumming return. This team will put up a lot of shots. Um, yeah, he could help us out in the rebounding category, but again, I don't really see us signing more big men right now. And if we do sign a big man, he has to stretch the floor, and Drummond doesn't really do that for us. Um, Duren, 18 years old, 6'11". Oh, my gosh. It's over for NBA teams. Uh, Dwayne Casey is good at doing what he's supposed to do when he needs to win. That will be at least a playoff spot. When he needs to tank, he can develop the youth. Thank you for that, Odin. I appreciate it, man. K Crusher, I've been seeing you a lot in the comments as well. Um, how do you feel about the Luke Kennard trade? Oh, how did I feel when the Luke Kennard trade happened? Um, Luke Kennard, I was a, I guess you could say a fan of his. Um, I thought he could have been a guy who averaged around like 20 points per game. So I was kind of... I was kind of upset, but then again, at the same time, I understood the, the position that the Pistons were in. We were like how the Knicks are right now. We were like one of those tweener teams in the middle where we would just get to the first round of the playoffs and get destroyed by whatever team we play. So 
I understood, you know, he had to go. Bruce Brown had to go. We had to get rid of Drummond as well, you know, so that we could truly start the rebuild. Could it be possible that players like Kelly Olenek and Corey will stay with us, but not really play like Iggy and Haslam? I mean, yeah, I definitely believe that's going to be Corey Joseph. But Kelly Olenek, I, like, how much money are we paying him right now? Like, aren't we giving him near, like, $30 million or something? Like, let me check that real quick. Let me see. Kelly. I don't know how to spell Olenek. <laughs> Let's see. Contract. 37 million you mean to tell me we're gonna pay a guy three years 37 million dollars just for him to sit on the bench nah there ain't no way <laughs> there ain't no way we about to just have him sitting on the bench bro he's either gonna have to play or we gotta move him at this point all we can do is wait for weaver to do another surprise trade and signing can't really predict him yeah he's very unpredictable um I mean, he's unpredictable, but it all makes sense, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Wiggins. Ivy is Wade. Um, I could see a little bit of that. Ivy is more like Russell Westbrook to me. Um, He's a much better shooter than Westbrook, I would say. And Westbrook is better when it comes to rebounding and um, playmaking. Ivy is D-Wade. Ivy is like D-Wade or John Morant. Bradley Bill opting out now free. Is he a free agent this year or next year? Pistons are on the rise. We need to trade Kelly Olenek for a forward or a pick. Yeah, I would definitely take like, you know, a future first round pick or a, um, a forward for Kelly Olenek. Chances Bagley sticks around, high or low? I think the chances of Bagley staying are extremely high. Burks and Noel, the only two players on the Knicks I would have wanted. Absolutely. You know, R.J. Barrett, he's cool and all, but the fact that we have Ivy now, you know, I much prefer to have someone like Ivy than um, Barrett. Just tuning in, so may have missed this, but do we have a full 15-man roster? Um, we can talk about that once free agency is over with. You know, right now it'll kind of be pointless because all of the moves aren't done being made. What's up, Joe Polo? Enjoy your content. Keep up the great work. Go Pistons. Thank you for that, James Miller. Appreciate it, man. Will K or Sadiq make the All-Star? K, rookies and sophomore, etc. Um, I mean, it depends on how well the Pistons are playing as a team. If we have, you know, a higher record, you know, I look at guys like Darius Garland, um, Luca Garza, John Morant, you know, these guys, they can get there in year two, year three. Um, the mellow ball as well. So maybe, you know, maybe we could see K do that if the Pistons have a successful season. What do you think of Victor Oladipo? Um, depending on the price tag, I mean, I wouldn't mind that necessarily. Release Corey Joseph and sign Bradley Pill. <laughs> K is Grant Hill. Ivy is Baron Davis. Ivy catching a body this year. Yeah, Ivy, Diallo. If we sign um, Gabriele from overseas, he he's a high flyer. He has a lot of hops. Expect to see a lot of dunks from him once he comes over here. Um, let me see. How many people? We have 150 people watching right now. Please make sure you guys like this stream. Um, Let's get Joe to 6K subs before Weaver makes his next move, which would be any moment. Yeah, give me the 7K, man. I'm trying really hard right now. Uh... I'm at 6.4 right now, so give me the 7K, y'all. They already signed Marvin Bagley, I thought, at 10 mil. Am I wrong? I think we um we tendered the offer to Marvin Bagley, so that basically means that, like, how do I explain this in simple terms? It, it means that he's a restricted free agent. If another team offers him a contract, we can still match it. Um, And at the same time, he can't just, like, huh. It's kind of tough to describe, but... Basically, Bagley is staying here. That's the simplest way I could say it. Bagley will be a Detroit Piston next season. It's just not official right now. Um, Do you think Cade Ivy Bay will be a superstar? I think Cade absolutely will be a superstar. Um, Jaden Ivy, not necessarily. I mean, maybe he could be a borderline superstar type player, but I don't really see that. I see him as a second option. Um, And then Bay, no, he's not a superstar. He's a... 
he's a number two, number three type player like Chris Middleton. Um, do you think we could still sign Bridges? I mean, we still could, but it's highly unlikely now. I don't see it happening. Imani came back home to Ypsilanti, or Ypsilanti, however you pronounce it. I only been there one time because I went there to uh to visit Eastern Michigan. Um, he could be a future Piston. Hashtag Troy gonna tell. Oh no, you said Troy gonna Troy. Um, Imani Bates, he'll probably be near the top of the draft, so I don't think we'll be able to get him. <laughs> Spirit of Detroit bums, I tell you. Um, is Duran going to be in the G League to start next season? No, Duran is going to be on the main roster for the entirety of next season. Corey Joseph for Colin Sexton. Okay. Shout out to Spirit of Detroit podcast. Shout out to him. He's one of the best Detroit Lions YouTubers out there. Um, get Bridges, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, I meant 7K. It's cool, Brett. Sign Sexton. Nah, I don't need Colin Sexton on this roster right now. Let's let Ivy and K run the show. What's up, Mr. 81? Um, livers for <laughs> livers for Giannis, who says no. I'm beyond excited for the next season. I don't want to see us winning above 35 games, but I'm still going to watch every game. Oh, you don't see us winning over 35 games. Okay, gotcha. I think Oladipo is the one free agent that the team should target because he has the potential to be that six-man spark plug, the... That the Pistons, that the Pistons championship era had. I mean, we kind of already have that though in Hamadou Diallo. He's like the spark plug, you know, for us off the bench. Joe, I think you'll reach 10K for sure by the end of the year, and maybe by the end of the summer. Um, I mean, it depends on what the Pistons do. If Troy makes a lot of moves during free agency, then I'll definitely get a lot of subs from that. Then you have um. What do you have? Summer league coming up then, preseason, then the start of next season. So I definitely do think I have a shot to get to 10K. But um, right now we're at 6,000 and the goal is to hit 7,000. Um, just joined, so I might have missed it. But thoughts on Burks and his future here? Only view Noel as a short-term thing. Um, I think both Nurks, um, <laughs> I said Nurks, Burks and Noel, I think they're both short-term players. But they'll definitely benefit the young guys next season. Pistons need to know Bagley's market value to determine his contract, basically. Thank you, Isaac Lee. You described it way better than I did. <laughs> um, what rating will you give Cade in year two? What do you mean by rating? <clears throat> do you mean like NBA 2K rating? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Um, and apologies for the way that my camera is shaking. I'm holding it. You know, I'm live streaming on my phone right now. Um... I don't want to put a ceiling on Ivy yet. I don't know if he can shoot in the NBA. He was inconsistent in college. He got hot at times, and then other times he would miss a lot of shots. So we're going to see. Ivy will be a superstar like Donovan Mitchell. Um, I don't I don't really see it, but you never know. I'm not going to rule it out. People talking about next year's record for getting K missed a lot of games. Um, Jalen Green. Oh, Grant. You mean Grant missed a lot of games. And had plenty of other injuries. Yeah, Kelly Olenek went down. Killian Hayes was out for a little minute. Um, poor Roddy Stuckey out of retirement. I used to love Roddy Stuckey, man. You know, you guys you guys know that I first became like a Pistons fan around 2010, 2011. And Roddy Stuckey was one of my guys, man. So will Bagley get an extension for long term? Yeah, he'll probably get like a four-year um, contract. Do you feel we need an all-star to make... Um, to put this team back on track for the playoffs. Um, if we want to make the playoffs, then yeah, you would need an All Star. But right now, I think it's just cool to just let the young guys go out there and you know compete. That's what they need to do. Need one more sharpshooter, or is it Livers yet? Um, we could get another sharpshooter. We could use that. James Edwards III said Duran most likely will see time with the Cruz. What? I'm going to have to look that up myself. If if Duran is in a G League, that is a L in my opinion. He should not be down there. Imani is going to Eastern Michigan. News just broke. Yep, talked about that earlier. Um, playoffs go Detroit. I like the Burke and Noel here. Nice vets to help the young guys and hopefully land someone big next year and the draft and free agency. 
Most definitely. But give me a second, y'all. Um, I'm thirsty. I'm about to get something to drink. So give me like one second. I'm going to have the camera set up right here. Be right back. Ah, okay, where did I leave off at? Uh, we are building a team that will be winning for a while, yeah. That's what I talked about earlier. You could either be like the Lakers or, you know, the Brooklyn Nets, you know, try to win one championship and, you know, trade all of your young players for one of these top guys. Or you could do like the Warriors, the Bucks, and just wait it out have some years where you lose in the playoffs and then eventually you'll get over the hump. Uh, where's the next comments? Um, Middleton is high praise for Bay. You think so? Playoffs, playoffs. Kelly Olenek, $12 million salary versus Luka Garza, 900000 Drop Kelly and keep Luka and save $11 million. Yeah, I mean... That's, it's not, it's kind of tough, man, because Luka Garza, he's, I, I understand the second round picks don't really turn out to be anything, but Luka Garza, in the short time that he did play, he was really efficient, man, and, you know, those games where um, most of our roster went out due to health and safety protocol, Luka Garza got came up, he got called up, I mean, to the main roster, and he was out there making plays, so, you know, it definitely sucks to see him go. Um... Make a video on the NBA in general. Maybe YouTube will put you in the algorithm, get a lot of subscribers. Um, I've tried that before in the past, you know, making videos on other teams. And um, for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's because my skill level isn't high enough when it comes to talking about sports and basketball. But I just don't really get that much love from um, other teams and other fan bases. So I I'm just sticking to the Pistons for now. Um... Pistons should trade for Michael Porter Jr. I haven't heard his name in so long, bro. Um, Ypsilanti about to be lit next year. I mean, I'm going to Oakland University, and we got Rocket Watts, so I'm pretty happy and excited to go to some of those games as well. Yeah, and 2K. Um, K, K Cunningham's rating in NBA 2K should be like a like an 86, something like that. I think that would be a good rating for him, or even higher. I don't know what his rating is right now because – I haven't played 2K in the in a minute. Crazy to think Jalen Duran has Dwight Howard upside. Um, I, I don't necessarily know if he has Dwight Howard upside. I mean, I think they play in a similar style, you know, when Dwight was at his peak. But he will, I don't think Duran will ever get to that level because Dwight Howard led the Orlando Magic to a championship. And Duran, obviously, you know, I don't ever think we'll see him do that. But they do definitely have... Um, similar styles. Um, no G League for Duran. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What do you think about Gary Harris? He would be a cool signing for the right price, of course. Um, which team would be the best fit for DeJounte Murray? Knicks, Wizards, and Hawks. Not the Hawks. I don't think so. Um, that's Trey Young's team. And then the Wizards, he could play with Bradley Bill. The Knicks, he would be a, a one-man show on the Knicks. Um, I would probably say the Wizards would be a, a cool spot for him. Um, what about Gary? Oh, spoke about Gary Harris. That's a West Side Detroit house. <laughs> How did you know that? From You could just tell that from the background where I live at. What the heck? Uh... If we had a starting five like them 04 Pistons, we would be good. Everyone in the lineup knew their role. Yeah. And I think on this Pistons team, we have uh, – it's, it's a similar thing because we know that Kay Cunningham, he's going to be the one with the ball in his hands. You're going to have Ivy playing off the ball, you know, being that scorer in transition. Um, Sadiq Bey, he knows his role. Stuart Bagley. Like, everyone on this team right now, I feel like we know exactly – the players know exactly what they need to do to have success. So – yeah. Bro, why are you hating on Ivy? He will be a superstar, not a secondary player. It's not 
<laughs> how am I hating on Ivy just for saying he won't be a superstar? It's rare to get superstars in the NBA. Every player is not going to be Luka Doncic. Every player is not going to be Kevin Durant, LeBron James. So excuse me for pumping the brakes a little bit and saying that he'll be a second option because superstar players, they're rare. We shouldn't be using that term, you know, loosely. How crappy is it that LA got their one championship with Braun during COVID with no fans? I know it's a bubble championship, bro. Go old school, go Pistons. You're blowing up, bro. excuse me. <laughs> You're blowing up, bro. Um, GL, I mean, GJ. I don't know what that stands for, but thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it. I'm working really hard right now to get to 7K. Um, sign TJ Warren to the Pistons. Um, TJ Warren's going to want a lot of money. I never seen a rebuild like this. Hope things really take off. Luka was slow up the court. I honestly think Weaver picked up Hamadou's skill because it would have value. We don't need any more non-shooters. I'd package Kelly and Diallo for a defensive hog who can sh Ooh, excuse me, who can shoot like Robert Covington. Um, I disagree. I would be okay with um, Kelly Olenek leaving, but um, Hamadou Diallo, I feel like he's a piece on this team that we need to keep for a while. Um, your skill high, bro. I mean, I appreciate that good money, but Every time when I make videos, like I've done it in the past, like I've tried to work really hard, you know, made a video on the Cavaliers, the Bulls, but you know, those other fan bases, I guess I'm just not good enough for them. I don't know. The salary cap is going to be up almost 12 million um, next season. That's going to allow a max player here for sure. You're doing good. You're doing a good job, man. Um, Thank you, Casey Detroit. Um, Being from Detroit and living in Alabama, all I hear is Alabama football. Um, I can't, I can't wait for my Detroit Pistons to get busy. That's got to be tough living in a in a place like Alabama. But don't they have? Actually, they have a basketball team. And we have one of our players. I forget his name. He's in a G League right now. He played at Alabama. He was an undrafted free agent signing by the Pistons. Dang, I forget his name. But Alabama, we have um, one of those guys on our Pistons team. Um, it's really screwing with me right now that I can't remember the name. Um, I know this sounds weird, but I subscribe to your YouTube channel on my household phones. I don't know what that means, but thank you for subscribing. Um, could the Pistons still sign a player to a max deal when free agency opens with Noel and Burt coming in? I mean, technically we still could try to get a max player, but it's highly unlikely right now. Um, hearing we about to make a big trade coming tomorrow, we shall see, bro. We gonna see if we do make a big like a big trade. It's probably gonna be Bridges. Um, sign and trade. Wolves just reported seven teams are interested. You live on the west side too, <laughs> yes, sir. It's crazy. I can't believe from the back of my freaking background right here, you guys can tell where I live at. Your thumbnail is hilarious. I'll be doing that on purpose, bro. I'll be trolling. Yeah, the arc in your walkway is a dead giveaway for West Side Detroit. <laughs> Plea, I mean, playoffs, we got a bench and depth. Um, I think we'll be a good team next year, but I don't really see playoffs yet. 2004 Pistons versus 2022 Warriors, who would win? Um, let me think. I mean, Andrew Wiggins, Curry... Jordan Poole. I'm going to still take the, um, who did you say? The 04 Pistons. I'm going to take that team over the current Warriors. Because wasn't that one of the greatest defensive teams of all time as well? Um, I, I don't really know because I was only one year old in 2004. But um, to all of my knowledge, that's one of the greatest defensive teams of all time. So I think that that team will beat the Warriors. Tempering expectations or tempering expectations. Yeah. People overuse the term superstar. It's crazy, man. Like, Jaden Ivey will be good, but is he a superstar? Are we just going to throw that title on him? No, I'm not going to do it. Like, it's not just Ivey. Even people, the players that we take in the second round or undrafted free agents, people will be coming at me because, you know, I refuse to say that a second round guy is going to become a great player for the Pistons. Like, every player is not going to be successful, man. Every player is not. Um, RG League. Like, what does that say? 
Oh, not G League. My bad. I already read that one. Um, I can't stop looking at your eyes. Laugh out loud, but keep talking. I appreciate that, Myla Graphics. Um, what part of Detroit, Michigan do you live in? Um, I mean, they've already exposed where I live at, basically, so I don't really need to say any more. Uh, how do you see the Pistons using Noel? I think that we're going to use him. He's going to be like the guy who we use until Duran gets ready to, you know, fully take that role as a starting center. There are like 10 superstars in the NBA right now. Thank you. Everyone is not going to be a superstar, bro. Whoever said TJ Warren needs a butt whooping. Okay. I'm a 58-year-old Detroit electrician. You must make a lot of money, bro. I can guess the year it was built. 1940. Bro, what are you? Yo, is, is he literally like outside of my house right now? Like, is he trolling me right now? And he's like my next door neighbor. Like, how do you know the year and the area that this house was built in? That is, that's crazy to me, man. That's crazy. Uh, Weaver has done, wait, Weaver has another big deal coming. We gonna see. Someone else said that James Edwards III apparently reported that something is happening tomorrow. You got to give it time. Ivy will leave it all on the court. I'm not saying that he won't be the superstar, but just to flat out say it right now, it's like for a player like him, you know, if you were to say that Kate Cunningham is to become a superstar once he came out the draft, I could kind of understand that. But Ivy, I just, for right now, I'm going to hold, I'm going to pump the brakes a little bit when it comes to him. Um, I could see a two-year, $20 million deal for Gary Harris. That would be cool. If we get Bridges, it's going to be New Lob City in Detroit. We're going to see, bro. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen anymore, but we're going to see. Oh, and I can make mods on the channel now. So let me make a few of y'all. Let me throw out some wrenches real quick. Who wants to be a mod? Bobin Fly, you be here a lot. 2000. I'm going to just randomly throw some mods out to some people. But let me continue to read the comments. I've seen another YouTuber shout you out. You're great. Um, Terrence Coleman, who shouted me out? Enjoying the stream at work. Thank you for that, um, Exo Screens. And I'm going to make you a mod as well. What's up, Joe Polo 10? Um, what do you think if we chip in Corey Joseph and Olenek for Gordon Hayward and a Hornet first round pick? Hayward contract for two years? If you, if you could throw in a first round pick and get Gordon Hayward and we only have to eat that contract for two years and then we could even possibly flip him flip him flip him for someone else I think that, that would be cool but then again at the same time I'm not the biggest fan of Gordon Hayward because he will command you know a high usage of having the basketball in his hands a lot so um I guess I'm lukewarm to that but the pick definitely does help it out Aiden will be a piston, I'm thinking. Uh, nah, I think the, the DeAndre Aiden talks are completely done for. Um, nah, bro, whenever you want to branch out, that's on you. You 100% got the intelligence. I appreciate that, man. I really do. It's Braxton Key you're talking about. Our G League center was Alabama player, I think. Was it Braxton Key? Did he go to Alabama? Ah, uh, forget his name, but Toronto. To okay, so the player that I was talking about, he's on Toronto now. Okay, gotcha. I meant to say I use my household, my household phones to subscribe to your channel. Okay, I get what you're saying now. I get what you're saying. Do you think Ivy will start over Killian day one? Absolutely. Killian Hayes will remain on the bench, um, probably for the rest of his career when he's in Detroit. To be completely honest with you guys, unless like Cade or Ivy. Um, goes down with an injury. And even then, we might start Corey Joseph over him. Do you think we still try to get Mo Bamba? I mean, it's still a possibility, but probably not. Would you rather have Aiden or Bridges? Uh, I would prefer Miles Bridges, definitely. Um, Killian, ha wait, yes, Killian wasn't even starting at the end of the year. Yeah, he's going to be on the bench, bro. Uh, Aiden will not be a pissing. Possibly Warriors. Excuse me. I don't know if he's going to the Warriors. He's probably just going to go to, you know, whoever offers him the most money. <laughs> Imagine if the Knicks make a play on DeAndre and wouldn't that be crazy? 
Do you think Killian will take off offensively this year? Seems like KC wants the young guys to take off defensively first. I mean, he, he definitely, he's going to have a lot of targets to, wait, what does that say? Bradley Bill just declined his offer and became a free agent. Wow. I wonder who's going to get him. Who's going to make a move on Bradley Bill? But uh, back to what you were saying. Um, what did the comments say? Um, Casey, do you think Killian will... All oh, right. Uh, Killian Hayes, he's going to have a lot of targets to pass the ball to. He has Diallo, Kelly Olenek, Duren. Um, he's going to play with No Will from time to time. He'll play with Marvin Bagley from time to time. He'll even, you know, some minutes with Jaden Ivey as well. So he will definitely have a lot of targets to pass the ball to. So I'm definitely expecting at least his assist totals to go up. Pistons don't need Aiton. I agree. K is the only future superstar on this team. Yes, I agree. Stewart will be gone. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. You mean like trade him or something like that? Because Stewart, uh, I think he'll at least be here to get re-upped on his rookie deal. The 4 Pistons held seven straight teams below 70 points. You will never see something like that in today's NBA. Being held below 70 points in a basketball game? That's crazy. That's crazy. Pistons don't have a vet at the center position, and the team is young. What do you mean? We just got Noel, and we already have Kelly Olenek. Those are two um, big men veterans. Um, Southfield, question mark? <laughs> I can't answer that question, bro. I think Noel's defense is the yin, the yin, and Bagley's offense is the yang. That's a that's a good way of putting it. Um, but yeah, Braxton Key. Okay, yeah, Braxton Key was the guy. Yep. Can you put a picture of Michael, a picture of Mike Bibby on the screen? My Google isn't working. Um, I don't really know what Mike Bibby has to do with the Pistons, but uh. I like Braxton. He is a 6'8 switchable wing. Um, Aiden, I mean, no Aiden, no Bridges. We need to develop our young guys. Westbrook for Irving. Let me put the phone right here so I don't have to keep holding it. Let me move my oh, oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, gotta... Dang, what the heck is going on? Oh, it's because of my charger. My bad, y'all. My bad. I was wondering what my phone was doing that. Okay. All right. So we good. We should be good now. If you see me doing this, it's because I'm scrolling through the comments. Uh. Okay. Uh. Crazy. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge. A ball. I'm gonna give you a wrench just because you said that, bruh. Um, and you too. I'm gonna give you a wrench or bees. You be here a lot. Everybody gets a wrench. So I nah. Um. Oh, Sean shouted me out yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. Um. He was doing a stream at like it was like ten o'clock too. Uh, I've been here a while. Can I get a mod? Yep. Just gave you one or bees. I'll mod. All right for sure. King shouts you out. Yeah, I'll be watching King always shouting you out. Um, Let me get a mod. All right, I'll give you a mod. But uh, yeah, everything King. Um, I speak with him a lot, actually, um, behind the scenes um, via DM. And I definitely want to collab with him um, very soon. Make me a mod. Gotcha. Everything King shouted you out last night in the stream. Yep. Saw that. Uh, should the Pistons, I mean, should the Knicks go for Brunson? I think the Knicks, if, if it was up to me, I would just tear down their whole franchise, trade a whole bunch of their players, and, you know, try to rebuild like the Pistons are right now. But what they're doing, they're going to try to make the playoffs and do whatever with Jalen Brunson. Congrats, bro, on your content. Keep posting. You keep me posted on everything Detroit, you and King. Thank you for that, Nicholas um, Washington Jones. I appreciate that. Um, I'm a big fan too, bro. This is the first time I caught you live. I mean, I don't really do that many live streams. I mainly focus on um, regular YouTube videos because 
you know, not that many people um, typically, when it comes to like branching out for your channel on YouTube, it's better to put out regular videos rather than um, just doing live streams. So I don't typically do too much of them unless it's, you know, some big news um, like the trade yesterday. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Thanks for the wrench. No problem, bro. I wanted bridges here. That's probably not going to happen at this point. Uh, the big man room is already crowded. You are my favorite YouTuber. Thank you for that, James Tanksley. I appreciate it, bro. Ashton retweeted a Oladipo to Detroit. If you guys don't know who Ashton is, Ashton is um Kay Cunningham's personal trainer and he's his cousin. <laughs> Fear the beard, I'm trying, bro. I cut it too often. Like I like to keep it, you know, trimmed a little bit, but fear the beard. Oh, excuse me. We gonna be 40 and 42. That's a little that's kind of high if you ask me. Stop calling everybody. Stop calling everybody superstar. You jinx our team that way. Laugh a lot. I was saying superstar develops over time. He leave it. Okay, if you're saying it like that, then yes. Eventually, he might become a superstar. But I just, I feel like I want to see him at least take one dribble of basketball before I want to give Jaden Ivey that title. You know, K Cunningham, you could just, even in college, high school, you knew that K was going to be that guy. But Ivey, I don't really know yet. So I'm going to just pump the brakes on him a little bit. As long as we have a top 10 pick again next year's draft. Will Upton shouts you out all the time. He's got like 13K subs. Yeah, Will Upton, he's another guy who I've actually communicated with um, a lot. We haven't done a collab video yet, but Will is definitely one of my guys. We didn't have any superstars and we still wanted championships and should have won more championships in my opinion. Yeah, you don't need superstars necessarily to win a championship, but I feel like having like when you look at most you know recent championships you should at least have one the bucks had one and Giannis. the warriors had one and curry so most of the time if you have at least one superstar on your team you have a shot to win a championship if the pistons look bad this year is casey out as head coach um troy weaver and Dwayne casey have an amazing relationship so i don't necessarily see that happening but then again at the same time troy and Jeremy Grant had a great relationship and then he just traded him. So you never know. We need a vet, a 3-4 tweener who can shoot and play solid team defense and possibly start. I'm not comfortable with any of those, um, any of the guys we have as a starting four who can shoot next to a five who can't shoot. The only Kelly Olenek and Marvin Bagley, those are the only big men that we have right now that can um, kind of space the floor and even those guys they're inconsistent at times when will marvin bagley get his extension tomorrow question mark or next year i'm um, probably tomorrow i would i would expect what do you think about dennis schroeder for me as a german pistons fan from germany huh um i would love it but i don't see it because we just traded for burks i mean even before the burks trade dennis schroeder He's a point guard, and we have Cade and Ivy in the starting lineup. Then you're going to have Killian managing the bench, and then Corey Joseph as well. Um, He's going to get a little bit of time. And then we just let go of Frank Jackson, so we're probably not going to add any more point guards on this roster. Maybe a shooting guard or two, but not a point guard. Troy Weaver is doing exactly what Sam Presti is, but he is flexing with the cap space since he does not have a giant stash of first-round picks. Yeah. Unfortunately, when we traded Blake Griffin, you know, we didn't get all the picks in the world that you would have wanted. So we will see Ivy, Cade, and Killian on the floor at the same time. Are you asking me that as a question or is that a statement? Um, but yeah, I do think that from time to time we might see a lineup like that because, you know, those guys, they're really tall guards. Like Killian Hayes, what is he? 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. We know Cade is 6'6". Six, six. I mean, 6'7". Six, He's 6'6 six, six with shoes off. And then Ivy is 6'4". Ooh. Okay. Um, I think Detroit could benefit from having another coach like Mark Jackson. What do you think about a different coach? 
Um, I don't have any issue with going for a, oh shoot. <laughs> I don't have any issue with going for a different coach, but Mark Jackson in particular, I'm not gonna go too much into detail on it because this is not the place for that. But I would say just do your own research on Mark Jackson. And if what they say about him is true, I don't want him on the Pistons at all. And again, I'm not gonna go there. This is not the channel for, I'll, this is not the place for religious debates, okay? I'm not going to get into that. But if what they say about him is true, I don't want him coaching the Pistons. Um, Josh Richardson for the Pistons as free agents, question mark. Josh Richardson. Uh, depending on the price tag, he would be a fine pickup, I guess. Um, I would have to look at some of his statistics to see and give a more informed opinion. But... Um, let me see. Troy Weaver is doing exactly what... Oh, I already read that one. Uh, will Olenek be traded and what could we get? Best case scenario, maybe like a 2026 first round pick. Um, but most likely a few second round picks um, for Kelly Olenek. Do you think the Wings and the Pistons will have their rebuild success at the same time? I am still waiting on the Tigers and the Lions. Well, what's funny is that, you know, the way that the NBA and the NHL are set up, they probably, like, they both play 82 games. The playoff format is basically the same thing. So we probably will see the Lions. I said the Lions. We probably will see the Red Wings and the Pistons be successful at the same time. Um, let me take a sip of this real quick. Uh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm reading the chat so far behind this, because um, I want to make sure that I get to everyone's comment. I want to read everyone. Excuse me. I want to be able to read what everyone has to say. So that's the reason why it's taking me so long. Um... Will we trade a Lennon or read that one? Troy is going to be Troy is going to trade like five players at the deadline and get a haul of draft assets. Yeah, I could definitely see that happening. Um, do you think livers should start if we don't get a better power forward for Bagley? Um, nah, I think that Isaiah Livers will be cool off the bench. Uh it will be cool to find a way to go out and get bridges. All-star free agents don't typically want to come to Detroit. I think the the bridges and the Aiton signing talks are virtually over right now, man. Unless the Pistons make another trade, I don't really see it happening. Ugh, excuse me. This team looks great, but if we don't make the playoffs, no one should be upset about it because every draft... Our young core will be getting better with elite level talent. We still need a solid power for people forget that. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, even if we don't make the playoffs, if we make it or if we don't make it, I'll be happy either way. I just want to see improvement out of Cade in year two and, you know, Sadiq Bay in year three. Five years from now, who do you think, oh, who do you believe will be better? Cade Cunningham or Jaden Ivey? What? <laughs> Come on now, what type of question is that? Who would be better, Cade or Ivy? Come on now. Come on now. Between the two, it's, it's not even close. Cade Cunningham, I believe he will be a top five player eventually in the NBA. Um, This is kind of hype. Oh, this is a kind of hype I have never felt as a Pistons fan. Yeah, I feel the same way. You know, I grew up with the Andre Drummond teams, the Blake Griffin teams, and I never felt this way in the past. Yo, Joe, you got a Twitter um, yeah, I think my name on Twitter is like, it's YT Joe Polo 10 or something like that. It's, and it's an anime, it's a black and white anime profile picture. I'm the OG, been watching since the 1980s. That's, it's, I mean, I love living in the time that I live in right now, but I must say that as a Pistons fan, you know, it would have been so cool to watch the bad boy era, then the go to work era, and then now you get to see the K Cunningham and whatever what do we call this? The restoration era? You know, it, you, what's your name? KC Detroit. You definitely, as a Pistons fan, have got to see it all. So I definitely envy you. Um, both will make each other better. I'm from the West Side. You my um, homie, Polo. Thank you for that, Ahmad Rapley. 
Um, yo, Joe Polo, I just went through Killian Hayes game by game scores for last year. They were awful. Did you see his stats? Yeah, of course I, I know. Um, I actually made a video on my backup channel speaking about Killian Hayes and his shooting statistics. I've been watching you since you made Bulls videos. Good to see how far you've come. That's crazy, man. If y'all don't know, I used to make Bulls videos all the time, and I was really enjoying it because I liked a lot of players on the Bulls roster, but unfortunately, um, out of nowhere, Bulls fans just stopped watching my videos, so I had to uh, find something else to do, but thankfully, I got to make videos on my favorite team in the Pistons, so it worked out in the end. Joe, who is your... Who is your favorite current Piston? Probably Killian Hayes right now or Diallo. I love those two players. Um, let me see. I know you and Everything King will collab, but is there any other people you would like to collaborate with? <laughs> uh, Motor City Sports Talk. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. Uh, I mean, I would like to debate with Motor City Sports Talk, but... Um, any other YouTubers I want to collab with? Uh, let me think. Locked on Pistons, if you guys know about him, he's a pretty cool YouTuber. I think he has like two or three thousand subscribers right now. I would love to get on there and talk with him. Um, I already done some stuff with Detroit Drew in the past, but um, yeah, I'm I'm all open to collabing with people definitely. Um. Casey is the exact coach that this team needs. Okay. You need a winning culture, a young core, and good player development. Been watching. This is from Tullis 23213. Been watching your channel grow. You're doing an excellent job. Thanks for keeping us informed and keeping us up to date. I appreciate that, man. Very kind words from you. You think we'll see K and Ivy in the summer league? I hope. Um, I don't honestly. I don't want to see K take a single dribble in the summer league. Just let that man, you know, continue to train. We'll see him in preseason and at the start of um, next basketball season. I do not want to see him play in the summer league. <sighs> Excuse me, but maybe Killian Hayes. Seeing him play in the summer league would be um, pretty good. Joe Polo, 313 JMO, Pistons Talk, Detroit Drew, Everything King, and Bravo, 1918. Detroit Ghost should be on first take to give our takes on the Pistons. I mean, first take, I will say one thing about first take. Um, Stephen A. Smith and Kendrick Perkins, they did show love to the Pistons the other day, so I will give them that. Even though, you know, in the past they've crapped on us. Bill not returning to Washington yet. Yeah. Apparently he rejected like a $36 million deal or something like that. Casey is oh, I already read that one. What do you think about Bradley Bill? Um great player, just not for Detroit. Killian is the most exciting player to me this year besides Ivy. I'm definitely, you know, expecting um growth from him next season because of the amount of talent that he'll be able to pass the ball to. Bro, do you still like Chet over Ivy? Um, Do I still like Chet? I mean, Chet, I love Chet Holmgren, man. I'm not going to lie. Chet is, he's going to have a really good career over there in Oklahoma City. But for the Pistons, especially with us having Duren right now, it makes sense to have Duren. I mean, not Duren. It makes sense to have Ivy instead of Chet. Uh, there's a reason Mark Jackson hasn't gotten another job yet. I don't want to go into detail, but Mark Jackson, keep him away from Detroit, man. Keep him away. How about we get Jordan Clarkson? Uh, isn't he one of like the top role players, the top highest paid role players in the, the league? Um, I read that Marvin Bagley is re-signing with the Pistons for around $10 million. Um, I don't know if that's true yet, but if it is good for him and good for the Pistons. I really want to see Marvin Bagley grow with this team. Much respect from a hillbilly in Wessels... What? What? What does that say? Wellstone, Michigan. I've been listening for a while now. You get better and better. I appreciate the work you put in. Thank you for that, Chris Edwards. Where is... You said Wellstone, Michigan? That must be somewhere out west or like in northern Michigan, something like that. I've never heard of that before. Um, but yeah, again, appreciate that, man. Um, Aiden does not suck. 
He is a good player, but he will always be plan B to drafting Duran. Yeah, um, Aiden is a good player, but for the amount of money that he's going to be requesting, he's not Joel Embiid, he's not Carl Anthony Towns, he's not Jokic, and to pay him that type of money would be ridiculous in my opinion. I think Kelly Olenek will be traded by the time um, I clock in at work. I clock in at 6 p.m. Oh, just got a notification. Momentum is building towards a DeJounte Murray trade. Okay, so the Spurs trading Murray right now. Interesting. Um, what's up, TJ? Uh, we're making the playing tournament definitely. Um, if we draft that Victor kid from France, we could have a dynasty. Joe Polo, little bro, 2004, you were one. I fell out. I'm 50. Yeah, I'm 18 years old right now. So in 2004, I was. I was either one years old or like 10, 11 months, something like that. Troy Weaver is not giving anybody a max this offseason. I promise. Yeah, I don't I don't really see him giving nobody that type of money right now. We'll get our power for any money baits. Don't worry. Um, the Pistons will be a fringe playoff team next season. Wait, not I don't. I, wait, hold up. A fringe playoff team next season. Okay, I thought you were talking about a few years down the line. My bad. Next season, yes, I could see us being a fringe playoff team, but just missing out on it. Um, yeah, Pistons community is popping right now too. Yeah, if you guys have been looking at you know the numbers, the views on a lot of other Pistons YouTubers channels, and the amount of likes and comments and stuff like that, the Pistons community is definitely growing. You know, a lot of people are becoming fans again. I'm another OG. Been around since the 80s. Got to see all the championship teams. Can't wait for you to see a chip too. Super excited, man. The the, the day that Kay Cunningham brings Detroit a championship, like, I know I said the other in my other stream, I don't typically, you know, cry when it comes to the Pistons, but when I see the Pistons get their first championship, I'm going to cry. It's it's going to hit so hard for me, man. Um, Joe, I got to see you later. All right, Orbeez. Peace out, my guy. Um, Motors. <laughs> Oh, Kukalu. Yeah, locked on Pistons. He's pretty good. Um, Mortar City Sports is so negative. Yeah. We need a Joe Polo Kukalu collab. Yeah, hopefully one day. I mean, I don't really have any connections to him right now. Um, I know about Everything King. I know a few guys at Woodward. Um, Detroit Drew. But I don't really have any sort of contact to um, locked on Pistons right now. So. Eventually, we'll get there, but not right now. Um, you about to get the 7K? I hope so, man. That's the goal. Gotta go, Joe. Keep up the great vids and streams. All right, Chickpeas. Thank you for tuning in, bro. Um, we might see Killian in the Summer League. Yeah, I would love to see Killian um, play in the Summer League because he didn't get to really experience that in year one for obvious reasons. Um, Duran. Uh... Yeah, you should collab with Woodward and Half Court Sean. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Talking about um, when he shouted me out yesterday. Um, I spoke to him a little bit, and we definitely, um, one day, will do a collab, most definitely. Mortar City Sports needs to learn how to not chew while talking. He has the worst takes ever. He blocked me on YouTube. Ah. Uh, that's why. I, only, I don't know about him, but I only block people on my YouTube channel if they, like, get real disrespectful because there was one dude who talked about um he was like i'm old enough to be your daddy if i ever see you walking in detroit i'm gonna sock you i'm like what are you talking about bro i'm just over here making pistons videos so that'll be the only time you will ever see me really you know blocking somebody um what up joe polo my brother what's up josh johnson i am intrigued by a couple undrafted guys troy sign you're talking about, um, I think we actually let go of one of those guys. Um, what's his name? Out of Syracuse, Buddy. I think Buddy Boheme, um, I think the Pistons let go of him once we let go of Frank Jackson. Um, Will Upton been giving you hella praise in his Pistons videos. Really, I only saw, I saw one of his videos about a week ago, but I haven't watched one since. So, um, but again, much love to Will Upton. Um, I've communicated with him before in the past, and one day I would love to collab with him. Um, thanks from Japan. You from Japan, my guy? Or live in Japan, something like that? Motor City Sports Talk. No. 
I think we keep Olenek. He is a big stretch big since Garza is gone. We need to keep Olenek. I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, like, I don't... Dwayne Casey is going to have to find a way to truly, you know, manage all of the guys that we have. Because we have a cool, like, five big men right now. And you still have to find a way to allocate minutes to the guards and the forwards that we have on this roster. So I don't know how it's all going to work out, but it's it's going to be on Dwayne Casey. Uh, Killian for most improved player in 2023. That's kind of a hot take, bro. Um... I'd love to see you and Motor City Sports Talk debate. That would be interesting. I would love to debate anybody, to be quite honest with you guys. I know um, the way that my channel was set up, it's more, you know, breakdown videos and, you know, analysis and stuff like that. But the reason why I wanted to get into Sports Talk to begin with is because I wanted to get into the debate world. So I would definitely love to just debate anybody. Um, Would you trade Isaiah Stewart and Killian Hayes for... Kelly Oubre and someone else, no. Kelly Oubre, they will have to throw us a, a lot of first-round picks for me to give up on Isaiah Stewart and Killian Hayes. Lonnie Walker could be the next Clarkson for us. Yeah, and I think Lonnie Walker wouldn't even request that much money. Um, Cool, keep Bagley. Noel and Burks could be short-term, bro. Maybe even just for the summer to train up and give knowledge to our young guys like Duran. And our young twos and threes. Yeah, like I said in my video the other day, they're rental players. They're not going to be here for the long haul. They'll only be here for a short little period of time while we let the young guys grow. But let me get my charger real quick so my phone doesn't die. Uh, okay. All right, we good now. My phone will not die on me. Okay, where did I leave off at? Uh, Pistons, Lonnie Walker. Okay, Joe Politan, Sean, um, Koo, and Adam from Wilbur Sports, a four-way collab show. That would be pretty fire, man. You basically trying to assemble like the all-star team. Um, Lonnie Walker would be awesome, to be honest. Yeah, and he coming on, on a pretty good contract, too. Portis is declining his player option per Woj. Before that trade yesterday, I would have been all over it. Pistons, unless we trade him for Kelly Olenek, I would love that. Um, Pistons are making sure they have good cap space for the next three years free agency market. Yeah, that's that's what it's looking like Troy is doing right now. Expiring contracts for a big free agent next year. Victor Wambanana. I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but I've seen that name before um, on NBA 2K. <laughs> Um, 90 million cap space next season. Brunson is overrated. Um, I mean, it depends on who you ask. I think Brunson is a good starter in the NBA. He provides some scoring for you. He can pass the ball a little bit. He is a bit undersized, obviously. So defensively, he does leave a lot to be desired. But uh, I think Brunson is a fine player. And excuse me for um, <laughs> keep on burping. Uh, I had Chick-fil-A earlier. Um... Just heard DeAndre is staying in Phoenix. Good. Didn't really want him on the Pistons. Um, I mean, it's not that I didn't want him on the Pistons. It's just right now with the way that our roster is set up, it, I don't really see the need for him. Um, Bagley staying. Good news. No better place for him. Performed very well and has Pistons DNA. This incentivizes him this season. If it is another, he'll have a stellar season. Then he gets really paid. I mean... It's kind of going to get tight with the money situation because Sadiq Bey, we have to re-up him on a rookie deal. Stewart, got to re-up him. Saban Lee, Killian Hayes. And then the year after that, oh wait, Livers as well. We got to pay him. And then the year after that, you have Kay Cunningham. So the money situation, Troy Weaver is definitely going to have to make sure that he keeps an eye on that. And, you know, so that he doesn't use too much of it so that he can re-sign as much of the young talent as we possibly can. Um, Joe Polo, I dig your commentaries for a young cat. You are very knowledgeable. It's all about hard work, India. Um, India Williams, you know, just a lot of, you know, nights where I just sit back and I watch full basketball games. I watch highlights, interviews, just doing a lot of research and it's a lot of hard work. So I definitely appreciate, you know, um, you for the support and 
um, watching my videos, man. Portis to Detroit, he just declined his player option. I'm predicting Nerlens Noel is getting traded again this offseason. I think Dallas and Boston both have trade exceptions that he would fit in, and we could get returning assets. I would prefer to keep Noel, and I would prefer to also keep um, Burks, but if, if other teams out there are going to throw in first-round picks, then I'm open to the idea of moving some of these guys. But I would prefer to do it at the trade deadline at least. Killian Hayes don't have that American swag. I think, is it, wasn't he born in like Florida or something like that? I don't know. Peace, um, D-dubs. Change your name to Goat Polo 10. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna leave it at Joe Polo 10, but I appreciate that, bro. It's a whole backstory behind my name, Joe Polo 10. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. Um... I would rather get two of the top wings in next year's draft, Whitmore, Whitehead, Mitchell, Black, and some others. Mortar City um, drags his videos out like crazy. And let me give y'all a fun little fact um, for y'all who don't know. The reason why certain YouTubers drag their videos, and if you ever see a video that's like eight minutes long or longer, and you're like, why is this video so long? It should have been like three, four minutes. The reason why is because on YouTube, if you make your videos at least eight minutes or longer, you get paid more money. So that's basically the reason why you see, you know, certain YouTubers um, out here, you know, they'll make a, a 10, 15 minute video when it really could be explained in like three to four minutes. So that's the reason why. That's a little bit of um, YouTube background information for you guys. Um, only move left is signing Bagley. Good chemistry with Kate. Yeah, I don't really see the need for us to make a big splash right now. I think one more little small piece or a few more small pieces will be cool. Trey Killian and Kelly to clear up cap space and sign Monk. I don't understand the hype for Malik Monk. I've been seeing this for a while now, for the past like three, four days, and I don't really get the hype behind going after Malik Monk. I feel like Stewart is gone. What's your thoughts on that? Isaiah Stewart will be on the Pistons for the remainder of this season. And then he will be here most likely after he gets re-upped on his rookie deal. And then after that, it's too far to tell. I don't know. Um, let me see. Let me see. I feel like I already read that one. I thought it was Garza, Jackson, Pickett, and Edwards that got let go. I don't know about Pickett, but it was Edwards, Jackson, and Garza. I know those three um, for sure were gone. Um... Punched in the face, Joe had to block. Yeah, it was it was a duel. He was like 40, 50 years old, and he said that he was going to punch me in the face if he saw me in Detroit because of my opinion on basketball. That's crazy to me. I had to block him, but um, Noah M. Love the videos, bro. You seem so chill. Still wish we had Bobo. I wish we had Bobo, too, because, um, you know, we only had to give up Rodney Magruder, and we could have got Bobo. So I would have loved to get him, but... According to the medical experts, he has some mysterious injury that's going to derail most of his career. So if that's true, then I understand why um, you wouldn't want to, you know, go out there and keep Bo Bo in your roster. But, you know, I I'm wishing him the most success on the Orlando Magic. Um, Lonnie Walker is only 23. He could be a long term six man. Motor City Sports Talk is a clown. He says the dumbest stuff. He blocked me for saying the Lions should pay Taylor Decker instead of Galladay Decker went on to have his best season. Okay. It's crazy to see how many people he's blocked on here. Um, I like Garza, but he has stiff legs, heavy legs. He can't jump. Kelly Olenek needs to get off this team. I think that's what you meant to say. Is Bagley saying? Absolutely. He must stay. Nah, not with Motor City Sports Talk? Question mark. What do you mean by that? Um, I don't really understand, um, Nicholas, what you mean by that comment. Um, Grant would have slowed down the young guy's process. Yeah, because of because Grant is no longer on this team, I think we will see Sadiq Bey reach his peak much quicker. Trey, Killian, and Kelly to clear up cap space and sign Monk. Again, I don't get the Monk hype. Um... 
Yeah, seeing um, Garza on the Kings would be pretty good. K KAO Clan with the two dollar donation. I appreciate that, bro. I can't wait to see Duran and Ivy in the summer league. Yeah, um, hopefully we get to see Killian Hayes as well. And then apparently Bossa Copra Visa, our foreign um, player, he's going to be coming back over here to compete in the summer league. So that's going to be pretty good to watch as well. So um, again, thank you for the $2 donation. And I like your um, Naruto and Sasuke profile picture. But um, next comment. Do you think we should keep beef stew? Yes. Um, TJ Warren might be someone we could pick up. He's going to want a lot of money though. Wim Ba Naya Me. I don't know how to. I still don't know how to pronounce his name, even though you put it in like syllable syllable formats or however you say that. Um, is this the end of Kelly Olenek? Maybe we shall see. Um, you just trolling now with the white shapo. <laughs> I'm not trolling, bro. I swear. Um, who do you think? What do you think about the Pistons interested in Oladipo? Um, on like a vet minimum, why not? Um, let me see. Is Magruder still on a roster? Yes. Uh, tripping. Gotta get out of here. All right, Kamal. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Do you play any sports? I used to play basketball and football. Um... I wanted to play hockey and soccer, but I never really got into that. But I'm about to hop off of here because I actually, I'm not going to say whose channel I'm going to be on yet. But later today, I will be collabing with another YouTuber on a live stream. So you guys will be seeing me on another channel. I'm not going to say who yet, but you're going to see me. And it's going to be pretty fun and exciting. Um, this is my first collab in months. So um, you guys should look forward to that later today. And again, I did this stream because I couldn't post a video earlier today because I recorded a video and I didn't like the way that it came out. So, um, Crispy Flakes, nah, I'm not collabing with Crispy Flakes. But yeah, I recorded a video on the trade and I didn't like the way that it came out. So I just decided to do this live stream. But y'all see me later today. That's all. Um, love you guys. Thank you for the support and peace out.